Hi, Adam, Stephen Wright. It's Natasha Henstridge here. I hope you can see me. The lighting's kind of, is it better like this or better like this? I can't really tell. I need some shade on my face. I'm doing this in the car out in Santa Monica Boulevard, or no, on Ocean Drive. Is it called Ocean? Yes, in Santa Monica. Um, the species sets was a combination of a lot of on location stuff all throughout Hollywood. And obviously we had studios too. We worked at a couple different studios in LA and they'd built, you know, they'd built a train upside down and they'd built um, the caves that were in the, at the end of the, um, at the end of species one where still, you know, the monster is going through the caves and stuff like that. So there were a lot of different cool sets um, as well as locations and I remember helicopters and being up near the Hollywood sign and a bunch of different a bunch of different areas god it's really bright I'm so sorry about the lighting Ooh. Um, one of the coolest sets that I always reference and remember is when I was coming out they built this train set upside down and I was coming out of the cocoon. So it's when Michelle Williams kind of was in the train and she was eating and she was all that kind of stuff. And then there's a cocoon up in the corner, the corner set and um, the corner of the train, I mean, and they built the entire set upside down at, <clears throat> and they put me in a um, like KY jelly and I was nude and I was coming out of the cocoon. So I was like being born out of the cocoon. And they built that set upside down, which was super interesting, is that it was upside down and I was just coming through. Um, and I would like hang on to like a trapeze bar and pull myself up. And so then when I would pull myself up and my legs would tighten up, um, I would look like when they flip, when they flipped everything upside down, it would look like I was being born and coming out of the cocoon from the upper corner and coming down. So that was that was pretty cool. Um, Syl should have definitely, definitely had a, a Jack Russell Terrier named Roxy for sure, because who doesn't want a Jack Russell Terrier called Roxy? Foxy Roxy. <laughs> um, Jack Russells are fun because maybe that would have helped Syl, I don't know, keep an eye on things because they jump so high <laughs> and they're such high jumpers. Jeez Louise, the lighting, terrible. Um, so yeah, I think that would have been a lot of fun. Adam, a lot of fun. Um, and maybe Natasha needs to get a dog too because I think quarantine is starting to make me a little bit crazy perhaps. Maybe it's quarantine. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I hope you're well. And I hope Roxy's well. And I hope I answered a little bit, a few of your questions. Okay, take care.